So I want to be an actor. I have chosen one of the most difficult career paths to become successful in, so I'm in for a wild ride, I think. I'm in for a hard one. A survey on Mandy, previously known as Casting Call Pro, says that 75% of actors earn under £5,000 a year. 75% of actors, that means that only 25% of actors earn over five grand a year and still that's not even enough to live on. It also says that 2% of actors earn over 20 grand a year. And 20 grand a year is kind of like around the minimum annual wage that people wanna be earning. That means that two in 50 actors will earn over 20 grand a year. It's a hard profession, it's a hard knock life for an actor. We recently had a lecture from an actor called Jason Furnival who said that 90% of actors are out of work at any one time. It sounds about right and most actors know, most people in the industry know that a large majority of actors are out of work at any one time. You can be out of work for months. It's really precarious and it's a really scary industry to get yourself into, so... However, I am going to give it my best shot. My goal is to become a working actor that is in at least the 25% that manages to make over five grand a year. I'm hopeful. So I'm going to conduct a little experiment. I intend to show you everything I do step by step in order to pursue this career. And through doing so, hopefully I can save you the trouble of having to figure it out on your own. So if you want to be an actor or if you just want to know more about this industry, I encourage you to subscribe. I will help you. And also always like the video because that means I can help others as well. So let's start with where I am right now. I've just graduated uni with a first class honors. Woo! I'm so, so happy. And I've got to say these three years have been some of the best years of my entire life. I've had such a good time. And although I am massively in debt now, but let's just not talk about that. I feel like it's been worth it for just the amount that I've learned at uni and not just to do with acting skills, but the life lessons I've learned and the social lessons I've learned and just so much that I would not trade these last three years for all the money in the world. And if you have any questions about my university experience, feel free to leave your questions in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. So as I said, I'm one of the many thousands of actors graduating this year, being pushed out into the overpopulated industry with very little chance of making it. But I believe that I have just as much chance as anyone else. I'm in a very good position. As it stands, I've pretty much got the whole package to get myself started. So here's what I've got. I have a first class honours degree. I am part of a theatre company that one of my fellow course mates created. A showreel, a professional acting CV, professional headshots. I have a really good microphone that I could use to dabble in voice acting, a spotlight membership, a free one year backstage membership. I'm also a member of Equity. I have like a acting Instagram and an acting Twitter. Go follow. I am one of the few students in my acting course who has graduated with an age so I'm all set. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I have the whole package that I need to get myself through the doors. Uh, so this also means that I've been doing a heck of a lot of research into the industry lately. I am absorbing as much as I possibly can so that I'm ready for the shark tank. Yeah, that's all great, but what are you actually going to do to get to your goal? What's the plan? Where to next? So I guess I'll start off with YouTube. I want to self-document my progress as an actor fresh out of training. It's really hard as an acting graduate. When you've graduated uni, it's you're out into the big bad world and it feels it's terrifying. It's exciting, but it's terrifying. I kind of feel like we're all in it together and I feel that if I create these videos and just share what I'm doing, maybe I can make someone else out there feel less terrified and less alone and hopefully 
just give some perspective on what it's like as an actor who has graduated. What next? What happens? So that's what I'm doing with this little YouTube series. You might have already noticed that I've started integrating more acting videos into my channel already with my student day in the lives and what the shows are like and everything. But don't worry, I do intend to still do the good old fashioned hair and nails and beauty videos. So it won't be totally acting based, but my channel is taking a little bit of a different direction now I, I want to share something that I'm passionate about so it makes sense for me to do this so what about where do I go I'm in Bournemouth I'm only in Bournemouth because of uni so once my tenancy ends in August that's it for Bournemouth it's goodbye Bournemouth like I'm never prob might never live here again and I absolutely adore Bournemouth I considered staying here but I just need to make the move I feel for me while I'm fresh out of uni, I feel like this is the time to go, go, go. So the next step for me is London, baby. London, baby! First of all though, I'm moving back to my family home in Hastings for a couple of months just to get myself settled, get myself situated, um, hopefully try and get a job. It's really hard to get a job when you've only got like a couple months like here and there because no one wants to employ someone just for a couple months unless you lie and I'm just so terrible at lying. November, January is my deadline to move out of my family home and make the move to London and I have quite a few friends from uni who uh, want to move to London as well because it's kind of like a hub for actors like a lot of auditions are there a lot of a lot of theatre and lots of acting stuff is going on in London but I will also say to all the actors out there that London isn't the only place that you need to be as an actor there's you can really find work anywhere that you are I could stay in Bournemouth and be fine just traveling up to auditions but also Manchester is a really good place for actors there's a lot going on in Manchester at the minute a lot of auditions a lot of work that's just an example but I'm sure there's so many other places so don't feel like London is like the only way to go because there's other places as well also I have have a little checklist of things that I need to do now to get myself to the next level, to get myself to where I want to be. And I feel like this is really important when you have a goal to like build steps, build what's your next thing you need to do, what's the next decision I need to make. So I've got a little checklist. First one is money and I've spoken a little bit about this already about it's really hard getting a job, but most actors need to have a part-time job. Like I said, most actors are out of work, so you have to have like a job on the side or even a full-time job and then just acting on the side. And even more difficult, it has to be flexible because like you never know when you're gonna get an audition. It can be really hard. I've obviously got YouTube. It doesn't pay a lot, but it's a, it's a little bit of help. I sometimes sell stuff on Depop, so feel free to check that out. I sell clothes and little bits and bobs on Depop. And I'm looking into other ways of making money as well, because being an actor is expensive. Headshots are expensive. Showreel can be expensive if you get it made by someone professional. Training is expensive. Classes, traveling to audition, subscription websites uh, for getting casting breakdown websites. Expensive, but really really, really important, so money is on my checklist. Next on my checklist is driving. I've got to get my driving license, I still haven't got it. Sometimes you'll find roles that need you to, to drive, to have a driving license if your character needs to be in a car or something, and also it's just handy to get to auditions. Practicing my craft. One of my biggest fears is that I'll fall out of love or, with acting or that I'll f like lose my energy and my talent or whatever I've had that's got me through uni. I think it's so, so important that you practice your craft. So learning new monologues and Ooh, learning new monologues, creating new work with your friends. Obviously the theatre company that I'm a part of, we've got some ideas to like make some um, theatre. So it's just staying active in what you're doing, doing little projects, even if it's student projects or unpaid work, it's important for me at least to keep myself active. Because if you don't use it, you will lose it. Another thing that is on my list is to get new headshots because my agent has let me know that I need to get some more diverse headshots. So in my show reel, I'm kind of playing more of a, a grittier character, a more kind of raw character, and my headshots don't really match that kind of acting that I do. So I'm needing to get some more, like just 
So a little bit more diversity in my headshots so I have more options. Business cards, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I started designing one on Vistaprint so that if I'm ever out and about or I meet some film producer or film director, anyone from our film festival, anything, you can just pop on your card. And there you go, it's got your spotlight pin, your details, everything you need to know. Uh, the last thing I've got on my list is just casting websites and checking them every day. And I actually, I'm pretty good at this. I check spotlight very regularly. I check backstage almost every day. I'm applying for things pretty regularly. So it's just a case of continuing to do that. That's my plan. As it stands, I'm hella scared, but I'm really excited and I have a lot of faith in myself and I, I'm i excited and motivated just even to share this on camera feels motivating to me. I hope that it's relevant to your interests as well and that you can get something from it. I will most definitely be doing a video on how I got my agent. I'm sure that you have a lot of questions about all that kind of stuff, how I made my show real, because um, that's really important as well. That was what got me my agent. We can do this, okay? You you have to really fight for what you want. You have to really, really just take it by the balls and just grab it and take it and run. You really have to. There's no other way. You have to do it. Like I said, please do subscribe, like the video, follow me on my journey. Let's do this together. You can follow my acting Instagram. It kind of just updates you on like what I'm doing. And I've also got my Twitter, which I don't use so often, but it's still good. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.